Yo, what's up guys, I will show you your GT Online facts and glitches that you don't know about. We will start with a secret wall breach or out of bounds area inside Mount Chiliad. So first make your way over to this side of Mount Chiliad with an oppressor or deluxo. Then go right around this part of the mountain and try to fly into it. This will take you a few tries, but don't worry, eventually you will get it. You just gotta keep bumping into the mountain and you will feel when you're in the right area. You can now fly inside Mount Chiliad, but don't go too low because there is a dead barrier. I will show you a secret inside Mount Chiliad, if you fly over here you will see a tree. So that's probably a mistake and I think it's meant to be on top of the mountain, but instead it's under the map. You can also fly out of the mountain whenever you want. If you reverse your car into one of your garages, it will still show a little cutscene of you driving forwards. If you shoot the window off a streetcar before entering it, your character won't do the animation to break the window and that way you can steal cars faster. There are multiple parachute spawn locations that you can pick up on top of buildings, but Rockstar kinda messed them up because they spawn halfway through the building. If you go to this location on the map with an oppressor, you can actually glitch inside this clock tower. Just go right underneath the clock and you will go inside. The fastest way to take down a helicopter is not by shooting a rocket, but by shooting the back blade. It doesn't matter from which side you shoot and where you destroy it, it will spin down until it crashes. It's pretty satisfying to watch. If you take cover, then grab a grenade launcher and press your shoot button without aiming, you can spam grenades really fast. This is a random glitch that I encountered. When I load into GT Online from story mode and have my spawn location set to my auto shop, crates appear in my auto shop. First when I wake up, then I will get a black screen and here we will see a lot more crates in my garage. This is really weird and let me know if some of you guys also have this. When I load into online right away, I don't have this glitch. Did you know that the green juice that you can drink inside your apartment is a reference to Michael drinking it in story mode? They both have the same facial expressions and movements. For this one, you will need to open your pause menu, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, go to missions and look for the mission Repo Sasquatched. Now start this mission on your own. Before we continue, check out Mitch Cactus. They provide multiple GTA services such as modded accounts, money and rank boosts for all platforms. So if you want a lot of money all in cash, a high rank, modded outfits and modded cars, check them out. They are fast and reliable with over 10,000 reviews. Also use my code Lawrence at checkout for a 5% discount. The link will be in the pinned comment and let's get back to the video. When you load into the mission, simply find a new session via your pause menu. Any type of session will work. Now you will still have the explosion protection from the mission, we will now test it, keep in mind that you can only survive car explosions but not the actual explosion if that makes sense. Here you can see that I survived and it even works if multiple cars explode. You will die from a normal explosion. For this glitch you have to go to this lake on the map, there's also one over at the beach. Then grab a rocket launcher, so a RPG or homing launcher and stand in the water, till your legs are almost fully underwater. Then shoot the rocket straight down and it will bounce back up. It will sort of fly in slow motion and it looks really cool at night. This one is a convenient trick. If you go to contacts in your phone, you can press right or left on the d-pad to skip 5 contacts instead of pressing up or down on the d-pad all the time. If you press right on the d-pad, it will go down 5 contacts and left on the d-pad is up 5 contacts. So if I want to call my mechanic, I know that I have to press left on the d-pad twice and then up once.
If your personal vehicle gets impounded, you don't have to go all the way to the impound, you can actually call your assistant. With the trick I just showed you, you can go through the contacts faster and you need to own an office in order to call your assistant. Now you can select recover vehicle from impound for $1000. Wait for about 5 seconds and your vehicle will spawn nearby. As you can see, my personal vehicle from the impound is now here. If you go to your apartment and sit down to watch TV, you can actually spectate players in your session. This can be pretty entertaining because some people do some random and funny stuff. Some players have this eye symbol with a cross, these players can be spectated. You can enable or disable spectating, if you open your pause menu, go to line, options, then to allow spectators and turn it on or off. Did you know that if you have lock on missiles, you can switch to different targets by pressing L1 or R1 and on Xbox LB or RB. Press your left button to lock on a target on the left and press your right button to lock on a target on the right. This can be useful if you have to eliminate a target for example, it's not locking on so I will just press R1 and now I can shoot the target. If you own a cargo bob, titan or bambushka, you can actually open the cargo ramp. Open your interaction menu, go to manage vehicles, scroll down to vehicle doors and if you scroll through it you will see cargo ramp. Now confirm it and it will open. You or your friend can go inside but you can't fit bikes in for some reason, there's like an invisible wall. You can also close it again. If you go into first person, you can also see inside and this will be pretty funny if you fill it with a bunch of people. Now go to this location on the map, here you will find a parking garage. There's an invisible wall inside this parking garage. If you shoot a rocket at it, you can kinda mark the area. You are invincible behind this wall so this is pretty cool to use against the cops or to troll players with it. For some reason you can't aim from here so it's not that OP but still cool. It's actually not only an invisible wall but it's an invisible box. Here you can see it, if you throw sticky bombs or shoot around this area you mark the box for yourself. Hopefully you learned something new from this video and I will catch you in the next one, bye bye.